hello guys welcome to registration and login tutorial series in previous video we have completed a login feature and this is the eighth part and in this part we are going to implement logout and home page implementation all right let's get started so look at here in previous video we have completed a login uh, implementation so let me quickly show you uh, username is john at the gmail.com and password is password and hit login so user is successfully authenticated but uh, after successful login user login then we don't have a home page okay that's why we got 404 not found error in previous video now what we'll do we'll we'll implement a home page all right and once user successfully authenticated then we navigate to the home page let us see how to do it so what we first will do we'll create a handler method to handle a home page request so here go to the main controller class and here we are going to write a handler method let's say public string and let's call method as home and here we simply return a time lib template name as index so index index.html is our home page let's annotate this method with add the get mapping annotation and here what we'll do we simply slash so this is our home page method handler it's pretty simple right now what we'll do we'll just copy this method name let's stop the server okay copy this index and go to the templates folder within a templates folder create a new HTML file let's call it as index.html file okay great now what we'll do we'll simply replace the title with a registration and login app okay and as we are using bootstrap css library let me quickly copy the link so this is the cdn link for bootstrap css library let me paste it in a header section and uh, now what we'll do we'll also copy a navigation uh, snippet so this is the fixed navigation bar uh, snippet uh, which we can get from bootstrap official website so let me just paste it in a body section all right now what we'll do we'll add some break tags over here and after that we just create a due and let us say let's give a class CSS class as container all right so we simply uh, print the message over here once user successfully logged in then we simply uh, print the message on a home page like uh, registration and login with spring boot spring security time leap have been written mysql like this okay Spread. now let's run the spring boot project and let us see how home page works right click new and spring boot app let's go back to the browser in a browser just type localhost 8080 slash login okay and uh, previously we have registered a user called john so let's use john at the gmail.com as a username and password as password and hit login yeah here we go so once user authenticates successfully then user should navigate to the home page so this is the home page just that just we have uh, developed all right now what we'll do we'll simply print a username over here okay so whoever logged in so let us say john user is logged in right now what we'll do we'll simply print a john email on the home page all right so what we'll do we'll add a code snippet here to just print a user email id on a home page so this is a very important step uh, 
so just remember whenever we want to print uh, you know user that username that is provided by spring security and a time lip then we need to perform these steps so first we need to add spring security time lip integration dependency so let me quickly show you how to do it go to the pom XML and here let's add time lip spring security dependency so this dependency will provide integration with time lip and spring security all right so this is the important dependency that you need to have a look into so whenever if you want to use spring security related uh, attributes or you want to paint something related to spring security on a time lip then you need to use this dependency okay once you use this dependency then what we will, we will do we will simply print a user email address on a home page so look at here this is uh, the time lip attribute related to spring security and principal dot username so spring security will provide a username like this so this is the syntax to retrieve a username from the spring security object so this will print a email address of logged in user okay now in order to avoid this warning so this is the warning right so what we'll do we'll add a, a attribute to the html element like so this is the time lib uh, url that we need to add to the html element in order to avoid the warnings okay now let's go back to the browser and let us see the username should populated on a home page or not so let me again log in john at gmail.com and password password and hit login so welcome user okay we haven't uh, printed a email address let us see what is the issue so let me restart the server and let us see the changes so changes are not reflecting on time lip uh, html page so let me just quickly restart the server and let us see the changes okay go back to the browser again so just refresh the login url uh, give username as john at gmail.com and password as password and hit login so look at here welcome john at the gmail.com all right so logged in user uh, email address is printed on a home page okay so once you change timelip template then you you may restart the spring boot application then you can see the uh, you know the timelip template is reflected with username okay so this is the important step so whenever you want to uh, populate spring security related stuff like username uh, roles etc then you need to add spring security with time lip dependency like uh, just we have added in a pom.xml right so this is the dependency you need to add and then you need to provide uh, attributes like this okay great now what we'll do we'll add a uh, you know logout implementation so once user logged in successfully then user will navigate to the home page so on a home page we will provide a logout link so whenever user want to log out from the application so user simply click on logout button to log out from the application all right it's pretty simple let me show you how to do it so here inside a navigation snippet so here what we'll do we'll add a logout link here so look at here this is the do just i have added and this is the link logout okay so you can add any other tabs here like home uh, about us uh, or services etc so for timing we keep a logout tab over here okay so once user click on logout then this request will be handled in a 
security configuration class so look at here so once user hit the logout link then that request will be navigated to the login page with logout message okay so look at here logout success url all right great uh, let me go back to the home page again and this is again a timely attribute related to spring security if user is authenticated then only i i can able to see the logout button okay it's pretty simple nothing fancy here so let's restart the server again and let us see how the logout works i hope you are getting the stuff so this pretty important stuff whenever you use timely put spring security then this these are the necessary steps you need to do server is already started so let me stop the existing server and restart again all right cool now let's go back to the browser and let's access login page all right let's again login with the user john at the rate gmail.com and password as password and hit login button so user is successfully logged in and username is created on a home page and look at here login logout link all right so this is the logout uh, link that we have just given in a home page right now once user click on logout then user should be able to log out from the application so let's go ahead and let's click on logout link yeah here we go so look at here user is successfully logged out from the application and user should navigate it to the login page with the error message uh, with uh, a message like uh, you have logged out okay it means that logout functionality is working properly all right so we have implemented a home page as well as logout uh, in this video tutorial so this completes our tutorial series and let's go ahead and let's uh, have a demo end to end okay first i will do what i will do i will register a user uh, with my name ramesh last name for the and email as ramesh at the rate uh, gmail.com at the rate 24 further at the, at the rate gmail.com password as password all right and hit register so now Ramesh user is successfully registered now what I will do I will just log into the application go to the login page and enter a email ID as Ramesh 24 at the rate gmail.com password as password and hit login yeah here we go welcome Ramesh all right so this is the home page and click on logout so user should be able to log out from the application so this is the end-to-end -end registration and login uh, module that we have implemented in this video tutorial series so you can use this module to integrate your integrate in your existing web application so i believe that uh, most of the web applications requires a registration and login uh, part so probably you can use this module in your existing web applications all right all right guys i hope you enjoyed this login and registration tutorial series and i will be hosting a source code of this tutorial series on my github profile and i will provide a link in a video description so that you Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Whenever I will publish such videos, you will get notified. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video.